Hi, I'm Mike Hughes, founder of Next Level Training, inventor of the CERT Training Pistol. Now, you may have seen the CERT Training Pistol in an instructor class, on TV, on the internet, what have you. You may be wondering, well, what, what can it do for me? Like, why do I really need it? Well, if you're a serious shooter, this is really an essential piece of kit to have. Because I actually developed it for myself as a high volume self-diagnostic tool. And what I mean by that is it's high volume because I can train in my home, I can train in my office. So if I put a target up on the wall, boom, I can get some quick reps in. All right, and, and just get that training and get the manipulation in. But it's also inherently self-diagnostic because that first shot I just cooked off there was a little bit off to the left. And it wasn't off to the left like a trigger mechanic issue, but a little bit of muzzle alignment issue off to the left. So that was a rep, that was a training rep. That's the essence of the pistol. Get those reps in, get a solid grip and what have you. And, and boom, you know, when you take it to the range, your, your skills are just gonna skyrocket. I analogize it to my little guy, my, my, my son. Like I don't have to take him to the stadium to just shoot hoops. We can do it at home. We just need a backboard, what have you. We can't have a brick wall because then we don't get the feedback if we're doing shooting proper. Well, same thing with a pistol. Dry firing is good, but it goes to great when you have that feedback of that shot indicating laser. But it doesn't stop with the shot indicating laser. The CERT pistols also have a trigger take up laser. So on the 110 model, as I have here, when I flip this top little switch back, okay, I have a take up laser. So when I take up the slack on the trigger, I, you know, I prep it up, the lower of the red laser comes on. Then when I break that shot, boom, that upper shot indicating laser comes on. And you may be wondering, well, okay, why, why do I need to know that? Well, there's one simple way is for trigger mechanics. So let's see, I'll get my CERT Fundamentals DVD here. So a trigger mechanics, when you prep that shot, okay, you, you can see the red laser, and when you break the shot, you get the green. Now, here's a trick. You wanna reset, reprep, be right on that trigger, and then be able to, to cook off another round as you see fit, all right? Another element of trigger mechanics is just seeing just the whole quality of your movement, and I'll put this target up again, to see if you prep, break, reset, reprep, and you don't see like slapping the trigger like this, where, where both lasers come on at once. Or for safety purposes, you don't want to have the uh, laser come on too early, right? Or too late, where you're just wasting time, then you prep break. So that's some of the training evolved around that take-up laser. Now you may be wondering, well, this is functional features of a Glock 1722 uh, or, or close to a 19, but if you have, say, a Smith & Wesson model, that you, that's your chosen live fire, or a gun with a different grip angle, then you may be interested in our 107. Our CERT 107 has functional features of a Smith & Wesson m and but not associated with Smith & Wesson. And this is a really, really slick system. Uh, this is our newer model. It has some pretty cool features to it. Uh, you can also do mag changes as you can with the 110, what have you. But also on the back, if you're a Smith & Wesson shooter, you might be familiar with this little tool which holds the back strap down. Well, this tool has a hex wrench on it. So the hex wrench can adjust the lasers. So you can adjust the lasers you know, right to your sight picture because you want to get those lasers dialed in. And you can, of course, adjust the take-up laser. Generally speaking, you want that take-up laser I just mentioned lower out of sight picture. But some people want to adjust up the sight picture. And you know, you can, you can search our website for a whole bunch of training uh, for, for different purposes of the take-up laser and, and get, get, get a good ideas on all the drills. So we have another feature on the 107 which is unique to this pistol and that is adjusting when the take-up laser is activated as far as the trigger pull. So let me just demo that. Uh, what you got here is we have the take-up laser that's activated when it's prepped, all right? Well, this top portion, I can adjust this down so it is more sensitive. So when anyone in your, if you're an NRA instructor in your class, for example, starts feathering that trigger at all, it comes on sooner, not at full prep, but sooner. Or you may want to back it off so you can do like trigger mechanic drills as I mentioned further. Point being is you can adjust when that lower laser comes on. This is in response to law enforcement where we saw a need, and we heard a need rather, in law enforcement that, hey, we need to know when guys are, and gals are, are finger on the trigger early. All right, so we made that uh, sensitive uh, just for that safety training. It's a really, really neat feature. A little bit of a specific feature, but we're excited about that because we at NLT are highly confident that that feature alone is gonna save lives out there uh, with the training as it gets implemented in law enforcement and open enrollment, you know, NRA classes and such. 
So anyhow, my friends, that's really the, the essence of the pistol. It's all about you know, getting these, these reps in, uh, this the convenience factor. I mean, this is built from the ground up. It's not a retrofit. That was an important design criteria when I made the, the gosh darn thing, because I want something I can pick up, train with, and put down. I have this distributed learning throughout the day. So let me just cover one last topic, and this is the different models of the CERT. So I mentioned before, I really had the CERT 110 Pro that has functional features of the Glock. The Pro model, which is the more expensive model, has a metal slide and a green shot indicating laser. The Performer model has a polymer slide, meaning it's plastic, it's a little about three ounces lighter, and it has a red shot indicating laser. Yeah, but it's also about a little bit more than half the price. So if you're shooting inside more, uh, you, you could, you know, the pro might be just fine. If you're not really into driving the gun as much, like, like you know, just having that full weight and feel of a live fire pistol, a performer is going to work just fine for you. But you know, you know, can vet it out and and take a look at it and you know, pick the choice for you. So you can mix and match between a polymer slide, metal slide, or a powerful green shot indicating laser, or a little less expensive red shot indicating laser. So you you find the right combination which is going to suit you for your needs and, and your budget. But as my friend Michael Seeklander says, if people just dry fire just a few minutes a day, a few times a week, they have no idea how good they become. And the CERT is really about facilitating getting that high volume training in with the convenience factor, as well as the quality factor of having these high quality reps where you get feedback after every shot. Now, of course, there's use in a federal level at you know, for law enforcement agencies and academies and what have you in training institutions, but for a practical purpose for the end user like you and me, this tool is absolutely phenomenal and it's really an indispensable training tool. And if you don't believe me on this, just, just plunge ahead and we have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if it doesn't do it for you for some reason after you get into it and, and get some reps going and, and see the gains on the range, then no worry. Just go ahead and send it back. We refund it and, and we'll start back uh, where we started from. So uh, Mike Hughes, Next Level Training, thanks so much for investing your time of looking into this. I have the highest level of confidence that a CERT has a place in your mitts for a training tool which is going to take you to that, that next safe, competent level of pistol craft.